Hey, Shalom, Akim, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. New is in the gospel, bar lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Uh, this is just a quick lesson titled, What Destroyed Georgia Guidestones? Um, I was reading uh, my article, or I think it was like a clip or something, or a post. I can't recall. But it stated that the parts of this tablet that was destroyed was the one that said maintain humanity on the 500 million. Okay. Which is very symbolic, um, whether somebody did this or vandalized it. Um, I believe this was a sign that the Lord was sending because I'll try to play this video up here. And you can see this fireball in the air. And I know it was a couple of people that was going into it. But um, my brother speculated that a chariot could have zapped it, you know, and it makes a lot of sense. Because uh, we've been having a lot of crazy cosmic activity. People have been coming more demonic. Because as you know, um, they restarted CERN back up, I believe, Tuesday, July 5th. Um, which they had a three-year hiatus because I believe they was doing maintenance repairs on it or something. But allegedly, they're supposed to be sending like a, over a billion particles at the speed of light. All right, to open up different um, wormholes or portals um, causing dark matter. Because I was looking, doing some research on it yesterday and... Uh, Basically, they was talking about how like these particular dark, like these particular dark bubbles or like dark matter, how they were splitting the atoms and then, you know, the God particle and then they collided with this hydro collider and then it opened up and these things would disappear and it felt like these particular particles were disappearing into a parallel dimension, a parallel world, so to speak, an alternate universe. All right, because this devil Esau Edom, he wants to know what's on the other side, man, okay? And he wants to experiment with the fabric of existence, but see, that's not his job, okay? Because hey, he's not the most high, all right? So this devil, man, he's got a lot to pay for because he's playing God on the left-hand side, all right? So it says, uh, and I went into this the other day, uh, but it was just some interesting facts on this video that came out, an explosion, all right? But like I said, you know, this could have been a chariot, who knows, you know, because now they're talking about allegedly that they saw vehicles speed off on the CCTV cameras or whatever they want to call it. They claim a vehicle sped off. But see what Esau does, he likes to hide the narrative, okay? He likes to paint over the actual truth because he has no explanation as to what happened. Because I don't really see them uh, demolishing their own stones or their own, uh, um, how can you say it, blowing up or destroying something that they hold so dear because this is actually their agenda to um depopulate okay so this is the lord basically telling you look that ain't gonna happen okay you're not gonna get your new world order up and going okay and this was a message that i believe through the spirit that the lord is sending these devils man like hey they're writing on the wall hey when your time is up is up okay so um and it's kind of symbolic because four o'clock in the morning then it says the guy stones is on a site seven miles north of elberton georgia highway 77 you see these numbers Okay, Esau deals with numerology. Okay, which seven means completion on the right hand side. Okay, but hey man, the Lord is not with this new world order shit. Okay, so um, it goes into the numbers. Like, look, it says here is each one wings is 16 feet, four inches tall, 1.7 inches thick, and it's six six what six point six wide. Okay, so you gotta look at these particular numbers. Esau deals particularly with left hand numerology. OK, so it says Cuba said that there were 24 seven surveillance cameras installed on the site a few years ago after incidents of vandalism. Right. Because people was writing on them. They was, you know, hitting them in all types of shit, man. You know, so allegedly they claimed that they seen a car speeding off, which, you know what, man, I don't believe that. I believe that this was like from a different. I believe that the most high did it, you know, through the angels. OK, but like I said, you have certain. That's up and running too. So all these demonic spirits that they're trying to extract from the spirit world are gonna hop on people. Okay, like if you watch the the final episode of Stranger Things, basically you had this monster by the name of Vecna. Okay, and what happened was after L pretty much defeated him. Okay, what happened was that he became stronger. Okay, so at the end of it, basically he merged the parallel universe or the different realm that they were uh, in with the upside down, which is a parallel universe to earth. Okay. Basically you can say it's the spiritual realm. Okay. And the researchers at, um, the Hawkins National Institute of Research, 
basically, man, uh, they're like CERN. They use like this big hydro collider to try to open up portals and close portals. So it makes a lot of sense as to how all this witchcraft is, start, is, is manifesting itself, you know, because um, like right now, man, you know, 4th of July, which is a highly demonic holiday, July 5th, the CERN shit. I mean, so the up the CERN thing. And then all of a sudden the uh, Georgia guy stones get rocked. OK, and they're talking about uh, they're seeing explosions, etc. You know, like it could have been a crazy Edomite that did it. But, you know, ultimately, I believe that this was the angels, man, because a brother said it on the comment board. He said an angel could have did that shit, man. And this is before we even had known of the explosion, allegedly. So who knows? And I believe that they demolished the rest of the vandalized ones because they thought it was going to be a safety thing. But that was symbolic because where it says maintain humanity on the 500 million, that's the part that was destroyed. And I kind of figured that through the spirit. I'm like, it makes sense, you know? So. Uh, if you're suffering from. You fucking commercials. Kids here occasionally, been back a million times. Never thought I'd see it like this. What started with a bang? I probably live um, like three or four miles out of town, so I did hear it at my house. The power did flicker off for a few minutes, so I'm not sure if it was because of the explosion or what, but I did hear it. Later became something that shook a community. Rebecca Brooks was driving past the guide zones on her way into town and ran into her cousin, who was a first responder. I kind of rolled my window down and yelled at him, and he was like, uh, something's happened at the guide stones. GBI officials say unknown people detonated the explosion that damaged part of the structure around 4 a.m. Take a look at this video released just hours ago of a suspect vehicle seen leaving the scene shortly after the blast. The investigation is active and ongoing. Residents say the landmark helped put the town on the map. I think they said they bring out 20,000 people a year to Elberton. And it's a small town. We don't have a lot of stuff bringing people here. And then for somebody to just, you know, blow it up or try to blow it up is awful. Lee Robinson even stopped by to see it for himself. It was a landmark. I mean, it's like a, uh, you see it every day. It's just something you go past. It's like, um, it's, you, you've, you've come to know it and feel like it's like it's a part of you and now it's not there anymore. Now, if you have any information, you're asked to call the GBI Athens office at 706-552-2309 or the Elber County Sheriff's office at 706 706- 2832421 in Elberton Carlos Flores WYFF News 4 Okay so it says Cuba said that was 24/7 surveillance cameras installed on the site a few years ago at the vandalism it says the stones have message on them Cuba said it says you know guides for humanity some people find them offensive some people don't but over the years we've had messages spray painted on guy stones okay so that's the whole point People ain't dealing with this whole NWO shit. They understanding there's something off is going on, okay? And um, the crazy part about it is, is the fact that um, the whole British Parliament from Boris Johnson, a lot of these British uh, officials are retiring. And also, I was looking into uh, July 15th. They said that it was another demic coming, and they was going to shut down the UK, okay? So it makes sense as to why. All these particular congressmen are retiring, like same thing back in 2020. A lot of these billionaires, etc. A lot of them, you know, they pulled their stocks and they vamped out, okay, because they knew something was getting ready to come. You see what I'm saying? So through the spirit, hey man, this may be the same thing. We just have to wait and see. But overall, man, something big is getting ready to happen, okay? They getting ready to try to lock things back down, and they getting ready to Esau's getting ready to come down with great wrath, man, because he knows. This right here, if this was anything divine, this just pissed him off. Now he's getting ready to go for a steam ahead because in his mindset, he got to outdo the most high. You see what I'm saying? So therefore, hey, man, shit, that power got to come any day, man, because the left hand is completely uh, over. I mean, the left hand is completely in that is, is impacted right now. OK, and you have a right hand awakening, too, you know, but the left hand seems to be far more powerful right now because they're doing things on a physical level. We're doing things on a spiritual level, but we're going to even that playing field, Lord's will, you know? So this is just another little video. This if you're suffering from thinning one. hair, balding, no. receding hairline, or any other hair Different. loss issues, you must see this.
And this is the remains there. It says one person posted on social media that they heard a boom that shook the house around four o'clock in the morning. So this man is finished, man. All right. He's he's done. Anyway, uh, I got a couple precepts here. Nothing too long. This is the book of Malachi. And I'm going to start at verses four. It says, whereas Edom said we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus says the Lord of hosts, they should build, but I would throw down. They should call them the board of wickedness and the people of whom the Lord have indignation forever. Right. The Lord said that um, he's going to throw down because in a mindset, they built this monument as a particular guideline as to enslaving humanity. And the Lord threw that stuff down. OK, he threw it down, you know, because either way it go, whether it was angels or a regular person, the spirit was put on that person to destroy a particular that stone. That was strategic. That was done on purpose because, hey, 500 million, that was done on purpose. You know, and I knew through the spirit it had to be that one particular because that's the offense. Because it's just like, how the hell are you going to the, the, the control or, or have control over who lives and who dies? Like, that ain't your, that ain't your lot, Esau. You know, you oh, well, we got to keep humanity over 500 million because they want to be able to control people. They can't control the masses of the people and they know that, you know. So uh, this is the book of Ze Ze Zechariah 5. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 1. It says, And I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked. And behold, a flying robe. And he said it to me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe. The limb thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. And he said it to me, this is the curse that go forth over the whole earth, which is this is going into the chariots. It says, and everyone that still it should be cut off as to that side on it. And everyone that swear it should be cut off as to that side of it. And I will bring it forth, says the Lord of hosts. And it should enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. And it should remain in the midst of his house, and it should consume it with timber thereof and the stones thereof, man. Okay, so, hey, man, the Lord is getting ready to make big moves out here. So, anyway, I'm going to end it there, giving all praises and glory and honor that is due to you. How about you, man? How about you? And with that, shalom and a ball.